Fellow viewers, welcome to Smart Agro Innovation, your channel that teaches smart about agriculture. If you need practical ideas in the field of agriculture, go nowhere but Smart Agro. Today we are going to talk about cashew. Yes, cashew is a commercial plant. It's a perennial plant that has many, many, many importance. It's a cash crop actually. But today we are not going to talk about the cash aspects. We are going to talk about how to produce this particular um, plant, cashew plant. So, we are going to start right from the nursery. How do you do cashew nursery? How do you nurse the seeds? Where do you uh, get the seeds? The whole process is involved in cashew nursery. It's here with you today on Smart Agro Innovation. My name is Anthony Beidou. The main brain behind smart agro innovations. Without wasting much time, let's talk about cashew seeds. Uh, this is what we have. What you see here is a cashew seed. This is a cashew seed. Yeah. And the seed, the very good one that we've been using here in Ghana is a polyclonal seed if you say a polyclonal seed it's a clone you know it's a hybrid one that we had from two varieties so two varieties were grafted together and the end result is what we have we grafted two main varieties and then we planted it so it started fruiting and this is what we have. It is the best seed for your nursery and it has commercial value. It is very, very robotic and good for its commercial sense. Therefore, um, let's go and then look at the processes involved in doing cashew nursery. It's super amazing. Let us go and watch it ourselves because at Smart Agro Innovation, we try as much as possible to let you understand all the basics so that you can do everything at the comfort of your home. Therefore, let us go to our country um, nursery. We are prepared. Let us go. Today, we are going to talk about cashew seeds. As we said earlier in our intros, this is the seed, this is our nursery, our cashew nursery. We are yet to um, insert the shading, but you can see that there are lots of uh, grow bags here. These are our polyclonal seeds. How do we do cashew nursery and everything? Today, after watching the video, you're going to understand us. Now, without wasting much, let us go and then get everything on set. Let us go. Now this is a uh, cashew bag. Uh, ready? Okay. These are the seats. Oh, our bag is ready. How do you do the um, sowing of the seeds? Well, that it is very, very appropriate to put it in water. You no, know, we have water here. Sometimes you put the seeds in water 
for about 30 minutes. When you put it in the seed, you will see that the bad seeds will definitely float on the surface of the water. That shows that it is not appropriate for um, nursery. So what we do is that before you sow the seed in the bags, what we do is that we put the seed in water in a container so that the ones that floats on the surface are considered as bad seeds. They are likely not to germinate. So that is the main reason why we try to put it in water. For the purpose of our video today, um, I want us to, you know, likely for us, none of the seeds is floating on the surface of the water. So therefore, it means that it is very, very appropriate. So, it's here. Now, I always say, we have it here. You can see the characteristics of cashew seeds. It's a bit round, a bit quail or something, yeah, as you can see. One may ask, uh, how do you insect it? Are you going to go this way? Are you going to go that way? Are you going to go that way? Are you going to go this way? You have to go this way. Because after germination, a uh, essential component within the seeds, the rooting component has to enter the soil, and the leaf part should also come upward. So you can see. Now, here we go. You know, you go this way. You go this way. Not too deep. Not too deep. So, you cover nicely like this. Now, you sown our seed. Now, after sowing, then what you need to do is to water. All these ones, they have seeds in there. But for the purpose of our practical video, that is how come we have to zoom the water. So, I told you, this is this is what it do. We have our seeds here to go like this. I want you to get a full understanding. So, if you want to do cutting energy, this is how to insert the seeds. You know, this is how to insert the seeds. It should go this way. After germination, we shall show you the whole thing.
basically that is how it is this is smart agro education after planting or after sowing the seeds what you do is you water after watering it takes 14 days before germination begins in cashew production yeah cashew seedlings production it takes 14 days so germination will definitely begin 14 days after so that is how it is thank you for watching so after 21 days this is how our cashew seedlings are doing it's marvelous they look so healthy and you can see that it's real we told you that whichever thing that we are doing started with you you saw the whole procedure and within 14 days as i stated germination even began before that time and this is the result that we have at the moment you can see that they germinated so well with high germination percentage others are still coming up it shows that at smart agro we do our things in the right way so if you want to do cashew farm you can see we started the whole thing here you can look at the environment it is the same place yes within 21 days this is what we are seeing we, in the next 21 days we are going to transplant them to the main field this is our cashew project yeah so if you are watching us and you need cashew seedlings we are available for you we can get some for you in the near future if you need some you can contact us and we'll do a very good job for you these are polyclonal seedlings they are a hybrid yeah with high vigor and performance so here we go we started three weeks ago see that the whole bags were just here without any uh, seedling we planted the whole procedure you have watched it earlier yes this is a cashew nursery I want to urge you that this is smart agro innovation if you need anything you can contact us our doors are open for job opportunities um collaboration and a whole lot of staff consultation services we are available thank you very much for watching this is smart agro innovation <laughs>